we're here with another YouTube video. We have another sneaker shopping episode today with a very special guest of ours. Charles, nice to meet you. Charles from Digital. It's a web agency in Brussels. And we do websites, all kinds of websites. Like what kind of websites? Sneaker websites. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like especially our new websites. Drip drop, drip drop websites. Charles and I know each other from high school, where also Marshall went. Yes. And uh, we used to play soccer together. And then he started a website company, website making company recently. And we were speaking. We actually needed a new website. So he said, give a shot to a new company. And it turned out to be amazing. amazing. Absolutely. We love Fantastic. it. 13 fire emojis, baby. Not, not just the website, not just the websites, but the service from A to Z, I think a best website making experience by far. And I can tell you guys, especially when you have three hard-headed business owners, yep. making a website ain't easy. So you need someone who takes you from A to Z patiently. Charles did a great job. His mm -hmm. company did a great job. And so we wanted to do this quick shopping video, see what he likes. See what he doesn't like. And Charles maybe, shows. maybe he buys something. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, Charles, so my first question for you was, what was the first sneaker that got you to the sneaker world? Because last time we spoke, you said, you're not a sneaker head, but you kind of like sneakers. I do like sneakers, yeah. Okay. That'll be back in 2021 when I got uh, uh, New Balance 550, green and white. Uh, not this year, no, just green and white. Okay. Uh, and I think they dropped in 2020 and waited a bit to see how they grew. They were pretty expensive yeah. at some point. Yeah. I paid 160 for them. I think we still have a pair, right? These, Charles? Yep, absolutely, yeah. These yeah are, these those are... look amazing. I had them five years ago. Five years ago? Yeah. Before, Before they were seen. Cool. Yeah. Now they they are uh, way more expensive. Well, 250 is half the price of what we yeah. were selling them at the peak, but uh, still a very nice shoe. And I think of the 550s, the best. The best ones. No, definitely. Minus the collabs as an OG, that's the best one. Very nice pick. Thank you. So Charles, you probably have a couple sneakers in your collection, but if you have to choose one heavy one that you could wear forever, what is your favorite sneaker in your whole collection? I have to go with the Adidas Forum 84 Low. Okay. But I actually got three of them. Oof. I got the Oof. green, the brown, and the orange one. Uh, but the Velcro, I mean, yeah, it's just it's, too good. It's, it's, it's a good pair. It's a classic, actually. Yeah, it's Those forums. Very good pair. So Charles, we definitely see that you love Air Force Ones. Could you tell us a bit about the pair you're currently rocking? I went to Hong Kong a couple of months ago and I got two pairs because I feel like Hong Kong and China are quite a, a big place for sneakers. Definitely, definitely. Uh, so I had to get one. Uh, so I went to the Nike store, got two pairs, those and also Dunk Lows, uh, gray color. I mean, it's such a classic shoe. It literally yeah. works with everything. So can never go wrong with Air Forces, right? Definitely if they're from Hong Kong. Charles. Yep. We talked a little bit about your sneaker collection, your 550, the 550 green is your favorite shoe. Uh, what is your sneaker grail if you could have any shoe in the world? It's good that you asked me the question because you do you play basketball, right? I do, yes. Well, I love the NBA. Uh -huh. In the past five years I've watched so much NBA. Who's NBA. your team? What's your, what team do you report? The Bulls? Yeah, Bulls. No way. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh shit. Hug, hug. Me too. I'm done. Hug, hug, hug. 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 Did we just become best friends? Yep. Big, big, big Bulls fan. Nice. Okay. Bulls, Bulls, Bulls. I have to go with the, the GOAT. Michael Jordan. Jordan? Yeah. Jordan, okay, good, good, Jordan. Good, 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 good. Nice. All right, I like this guy. Mm -hmm. I like this guy. What's your sneaker grill? You said Chicago, Bulls, NBA. What's the shoe? Oh, the, the Jordan ones. The one. The Jordan one? Yeah. The Chicago's? Yeah. Oh, you Come got here. them? Come here. Which Thanks. particular one? Oh, they Charles? Oh, I don't know all the models. These? This is it. Yeah. This is the Chicago. Never touched it before. I'll touch it, bro. Oh, shit. Can I smell it? Yeah, do it. Does so it fresh. Pass? Does it pass the shoe test? Yeah, yeah. man. I feel like I can jump so high with it. <laughs> we got a walking First commercial time over it. here. Nice. All right, so this is your grill. Yeah, has to be. I think uh, that's a pretty solid answer mm -hmm. for that. Great shoe. I see you looking at some Pogue runners. Oh, yes, I I'm am. wondering, could you ever see yourself wear a pair like this? I don't know, man. Do you need to wear socks in those or no socks? That's a question I get asked by yeah, almost yeah. everyone. If you wear socks with these, unless you're at the beach, obviously, go barefoot. Of course you can do But disclaimer, if you do wear these on the beach, guys, do not leave these in the sun because they will shrink. It's it is 100% rubber and the amount of times people have come back with like different fucking shoes yeah. and I'm like, oh, just we're at the beach. I already know the answer. A lot of different opinions going on. So I think I guess <laughs> the consensus is socks. What's a shoe in the store that you could absolutely not imagine wearing, even if it was gifted to you for free? That is close to this one. It's close really, to that? Really close <laughs> okay. to this one. That's the right. What color was it? It has oh. to be the red one. Red Octobers? Red, red doesn't work with anything. No. It's not good. And it's, holes, bro. it's uh, Yeah, but not on those shoes. Not on those <laughs> shoes. No, no. And that's funny because this is probably in the US one of the most famous 
because of uh, the famous YouTuber uh, Speed. So this is a shoe you never wear. No, I right. wouldn't. Oh. Not even with We're gifting it to you today. <laughs> I don't want it. Sell it to someone else. Burn it. All right, we've asked Charles some questions. He's given us some answers. Now we're gonna let this man browse the shelves and hopefully buy something. We'll see. Yes. 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 Releases Travis Scott's newest shoe. We have a few of them up there, kind of neutral, very basic colors. He finally did something colorful with yeah. a pop of yellow and this blue. Thoughts on these? I quite like them. I like the, the yellow. Yellow is nice with the red. Drip or skip? No, we go for drip. Yeah. Yeah, with the summer coming, this is. Yeah, there you go. That's what I said. I fuck with them. Yeah. I'm glad he finally did something colorful instead yeah. of a beige neutral tone. All right. Uh, did you find anything that you liked, Charles? I did see one. You yeah. see one? Yeah, I saw one. What you need? So at first. I saw those, which I really like, but I wanted to buy them a couple of months ago, but then I had to, to do something else so I could, so couldn't buy, and to spend money on those, but just above it, there's this one, the yellow ones. The, yellow ones? the, the pair just before was the, exactly. the yellow Travis. I feel like this That's one could... That's a respectful, could, uh, respectful... Uh, could be quite respectful. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I feel like the nice something. thing about the shoe is you can wear it casually, but also like a bit street style, mm -hmm. and that's what I really like about these 550s. You can style them however you want. All right, man, let me have a look. What size would you need in these? Uh, 45, yeah. 45? Let me have a look. I got you. Thanks. Oh, dang. I told you we got you, man. Let's nice. go. Nice. Take a seat, my friend. Sorry, but it looked really I had a football tournament last weekend, and my finger popped, and I had to pull it to put the bones back together. You could come closer, I will show you if you want. The striker shot in my finger from the front, so what happens is that the two uh, bones separated and this one came above the others so what they had to do is pull this one to put it back yeah that was a long story short and that's why i'm super good at tying my laces of this brand new shoe i got i mean i really like it i would rock those reminds me of the green ones but i think 2025 i could go looking for another upgrade new year new charles baby i'm going from the green to the yellow so it's not too bad right staying in that color spectrum all right charles we got you a nice pair of sneakers we got you nice scars from new wave i'm gonna hit you up with a couple of stickers obviously it's what we love to do at drip drops and i'm gonna back your stuff up okay can i also add two two layers with it of course man we got you just for the souvenir of course Thank you so much for the shoe, guys. 